Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here and I am back with I would hope to be my last update video on the Shiny Mew on how to get Shiny Mew legit. And uh I figured out the absolute fastest way to soft reset for Shiny Mew. And uh if there is another way to that's faster than this, um I probably won't even uh make an update video on it because it's at, at this point, it's not going to be much faster. So, uh, before what I was doing is I was uh, doing the growl glitch, the, what is it, the XP underflow glitch, where you would growl the Pokemon that you had to kill for the Mew glitch, uh, being the Slowpoke, the youngster Slowpoke. I would growl that six times, and then that would cause Mew to be level one. Then I'd kill a Pokemon, give it below 55 experience, and then it would go to level 100 so I could check its stats. But this way is much faster. This way you don't have to do Growl. And uh, once the Mew was at level 100, I think I, I did a little calculator at what uh, uh, nature it would be, and it would be a neutral nature, I'm pretty sure, once you transfer it over. But this way guarantees that you can pick your own nature if you can if you get the shiny. So what you're going to want to do is do everything we've done before. Like, you know, look at all the other videos if you have no idea what I'm talking about and how to transfer Mew over. But, uh... You're going to need, obviously you're going to need the Master Ball for um, Mew so it makes it faster. And you're going to need Rare Candies. And you need at least 43. That's the, the minimum because if you get it, level 50 is the level that guarantees uh, you knowing what if it's shiny or not. But there's so many other factors that determine if it's not shiny. So it makes the soft resets really fast. So... I'll probably leave an extensive guide in the description below, but uh, let's get into this. And I went to items, so I screwed up. Uh, let me just reset that really quick. Oh uh, yeah, I, I screw up quite a bit. Um, yeah, so let's get back into this. This will be really fast. It takes about between a minute and a half and like my kind of slow time took like a minute and 50. So you just go use your teleport, do the Mew glitch standard. But this makes hunting Shiny Mew way less stressful and less time consuming, which is so nice. Like, it cuts the soft reset in half, at least in half, which is insane. So yeah, you just do this normally. And the only way this wouldn't cut it in half, like if you took a really long reset, is if it's, if it's potentially shiny. That's what I'm trying to get at. So let's... Uh, do this really quick. I'm gonna do a lot more explanation once I catch the Mew. So let's just get into this. You have to go one above this guy or else he'll glitch out. I don't know if I stressed that in another video. But uh if you don't if you just walk straight into him instead of going one above him, uh it'll just not load his dialogue and you won't be able to battle. So going back into this instead of growling the Pokemon, you just want to kill it. Just kill the slowpoke. Makes it a lot faster because the whole growl shenanigans and with Slowpoke having confusion, it makes it take forever. Now what I do at this point is I get on my bike. Just to cut the time down a little bit. Exit out. Alright. And now we're catching Mew. Obviously about the same except for I didn't growl the Slowpoke this time. So just chuck a Master Ball at it, because that makes it guaranteed to catch. It makes it way easier. Alright, so we got the Pokemon. We don't want to give it a nickname. Now, there are so many factors to determine if it's not shiny. A glaring one is that... Okay, so the stats, the IVs, or the DVs, for Mew, should be... Uh, for Defense, Special, and uh, Speed, it should be 10-10-10. Uh, which means no matter what level this Pokemon is, those three stats should be equal. So that is the that's the way to make this soft reset the quickest. So let me give it a rare candy. And as you can see, special is different from defense. Now you can get even into the nitty gritty part and say that uh, they need defense, speed, and special all need to be a value of 22 at level 8. But uh, just seeing that the special is off means it's not shiny. That's a clear indicator that it's not shiny. So 
I'll probably leave a guide, so I know that this is not shiny, so I can reset, and that was super quick. Um, if they are equal, just keep leveling it up, and honestly, I wouldn't even stress, even if they're not 22, if they're all equal, those three stats, just keep leveling it up to see where you get. Like, that's just so, in case something happens, but uh, it should be 22 at level 8, all those stats should be 22, except for attack, it can be a, a, a number of stats. Um... So yeah, just keep leveling it up if it's 22, if they're all equal, and then once they either, like, once they aren't equal anymore, like, they'll start to spread from each other, um, like, change. So if they start to change and aren't equal anymore, then it's also not shiny, so that's another indicator that you can reset. And then another thing you can look at is the HP stat. So there's a, a few things, if it's a level 8 Mew, or a level 7 Mew, which it's too late for me to check. It should have a st an HP stat of 33. Or it shouldn't. If it has an HP stat of uh, 31 or 32, there's a potential that it could be shiny, but pretty low chance. If it's uh, if it's got an HP stat of 33 at level 7, you don't even have to level it up once. You can just reset there. It's not going to be shiny. That's just uh, the indicator with how the DVs affect the HP stat. So, really, really quickly, like, really quick stuff. I will... I just did it again, but yeah, um, so all the stats are 24, I don't know how that works, but that shouldn't be, the, it's cause, um, they're probably close, but, um, uh, what do you, they're, they're probably close to, um, equal, but they aren't equal, as you can see, if they were equal, they'd all be 22, and, uh, they'd stay equal the whole time, so let's level it up a few more times just to prove my point, see, look, they've split again, so 26, 27, 26, if they were potentially 10 10 10 they would stay all the same every single time so uh yeah so even if it goes back to being equal it's not going to be for long if they were ever not equal at one point they're not going to be equal stats so uh let me do one more soft reset i hope this video isn't too long probably not though considering how fast this reset is now and i timed myself and i screwed up a few times like i i didn't do it flawlessly um, and it took me about a minute and 50 seconds, which is pretty respectable for a mythical Pokemon. So, the only really thing you have to wait through is like these, the teleport cutscene and walking up to the youngster. That's like the only long part of this reset. Which is so nice. It would be nice if you could do that, um, teleport glitch while riding a bike and just ride your bike up here. But, I've tried that, you can't, it just gets you off your bike. So yeah, I'll leave a guide. I'll also leave a link in the description to a Pokemon DV calculator, and you can calculate what uh, stats Mew should be at whatever level, um, whatever level they need to be that you're looking at. So uh, I'll leave the link to that calculator in the description. And then also one more thing, if your Mew is shiny and you'll only be able to tell 100% at level 50 or later, so a shiny Mew, without killing any Pokemon, this is different, there's no um, stat points, uh, no EVs technically added to this Pokemon. So a Mew at level 50 that's been leveled up with rare candies only should have an um, a defense, special, and speed stat all 115. And the attack stat should be 107, 108, 111, 112, 115, 116, 119 or 120 so try to memorize that if you can um as i'll leave the the dv calculator and i'll also leave bulbapedia bulbapedia's uh shiny page in the in the description below so you can just like look back and forth say like oh because uh if you scroll down to generation 2 the shiny pokemon on bulbapedia it'll tell you every um everything you need to know about uh it's DVs to be shiny and then you can just plug those uh, numbers in and look at the stats on the DV calculator so Yeah, good stuff. So let's uh, check this one one more time And they're not equal which means it's not shiny so I can just reset and that is so much faster So hopefully you found this video useful if you're completely confused as to what I'm talking about at all just look back at my other videos in this uh series the how to get shiny mew uh legit and uh yeah that's gonna be it for
to this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination, and I will see you in the next video.